before we jump in and start adding keyframes and creating shapes and animating and all of that fun stuff, I want to go over the program and show you um, how to get the best out of your layout, which that way we're all on the same page when we're creating uh, files and projects. So what I want you to do first is go up to this Essentials panel and we're going to just lay out the workspace and so you can see everything that you're working with. So when we go to Essentials, we can see that we've got everything laid out here as far as the default windows that After Effects set up sets up so you can click in between each one of those and see what's offered there. Um, what we're going to change is we're going to go into the standard workspace and it's going to give us these default uh, kind of layouts. So the key things that we need to set up are the things that we're going to be working with most often and so I've already gone in here and changed the ones that uh, we should all have set up together so yours may look a little bit different but if you go to this standard workspace and you go to reset to save layout that will change everything to the default and what uh, it's originally set up to so this should be what you see and what we want to set up here are a couple of different options so I'm going to expand this out we're gonna have effects and and libraries in the same window and then we're gonna have some other things set up as well so let's go up to window and make sure we have character on we're also gonna go up to window and choose paragraph and then we're going to choose window and align and so these are all hopefully going to land in the same spot but if they don't uh, like in this case we're going to take the character panel and just click and drag and we're going to move it down here to the top to go along with these three so we're going to have the character and then paragraph and align all in the same section and then above that you should have effects and presets and then libraries and then you also want to have preview and info up at the top and for the audio one you can close that panel we don't need that for now so we just want to have the preview set up to where you have enough space and if you're working on a smaller screen uh, there's a couple different things you can do you can rearrange your uh, panels here or you can actually go up and they have a small screen layout that you can use in order to work with more of a laptop size screen or something like that uh, but once you get everything set up what I want you to do is go to here and go to save as new workspace and you can name it whatever you'd like I've named it AE beginners for this course so that you can see everything that we're doing and then I'm going to pull it right back out here to kind of keep everything lined up and nice and neat so this is the workspace we'll be working with that way you're familiar and what I'm trying to teach you you're able to see and you're not questioning where these panels are but if you'd like and you want to customize it feel free to do so uh, you can drag and drop any panel that they have in After Effects uh, to get the most out of your work so I'll see you in the next video